The fans are on Twitter asking me to ask you, do you want to see a release of the air cut of Suicide Squad? Oh, no. <laughs> the, let me tell you, there, there's, there's a whole lot that uh, stayed on the floor for, for uh, Suicide Squad. So uh, I'm into it. I would lo I'd love to see it. I love that world. Um, I love what was created in, in both versions. So I I'm, I'm absolutely would love to. Do you know how happy you just made people? I know, yeah. <laughs> My personal thoughts on this topic are kind of up in the air. I feel like with a lot of the director's cuts and second editions of these DC projects, we're sort of beating at a dead horse. However, with the Snyder Cut, which I personally thoroughly enjoyed and had a lot of fun watching, we did wait almost five years for the release of that film, and we spent most of those five years getting told by actors, directors, studios, and productions that there was no Snyder Cut and that it didn't exist, there was no chance to see it. Then all of a sudden, lo and behold, Snyder was called back in, we got the whole new Snyder Cut edition, the four hour long Justice League movie, which although still wasn't a perfect film, was much better than what we originally got, the Justice League, and all of the story and details were better aligned and made more sense from the Snyder Cut. And it did make me a little sad because the direction Snyder was headed with the Joker and all of the characters overall, the character development we saw was so much better. There might have been an awesome opportunity had we started with that for a really cool cinematic universe that could have even connected to the Suicide Squad because of the use of the Joker and so many other opportunities. Sadly, that was passed. They released the Snyder Cut, but Warner Brothers has moved on. That's not happening anymore. In fact, the Flash movie is set to completely kind of put to the side the DCEU and start over in the DC universe. With that being said, you know, the Iyer Cut, which is the other edition of the first Suicide Squad that we got, does exist. Nobody's been denying that. And that's what they did with the Snyder Cut for five years, was deny its existence. There is no Snyder Cut, leave us alone, we don't want to release the Snyder Cut. We know that there exists another edition of the original Suicide Squad movie that came out in 2016. That would have connected way, way better to the Justice League that came out with Snyder versus the Justice League that originally came out. There were characters that connected and existed specifically in both of these movies that would have had some really good continuity and had an awesome cinematic universe, which is what DC's been lacking overall and the most. Now here's Will Smith talking directly about how, yes, we should release this version of the film and whether or not they do, it's just irrelevant, which is where I come back to the beating a dead horse idea where, yeah, maybe they'll release this film, but it's not going to change anything for DC. DC and Warner Brothers have made up their mind shortly after the release of the Snyder Cut, and even with its wild success, I would say it was very successful, they put out a statement saying, yeah, we're done with Zack Snyder, thank you for everything you've done, but don't expect any more movies. Man of Steel 2, yeah, that's done. Another Justice League, yeah, that's done. This film is not canon to our DC Warner Brothers universe, or maybe it is in a different parallel universe, but it doesn't matter. Because if we compare this exact same scenario to the Iyer Cut, well, if it releases, we might get to see a really cool movie, a better movie than we originally got the first time around, but it doesn't change anything. That universe is done. The new Suicide Squad is out with its subsequent Peacemaker series and other spin-off series that have also been teased and rumored to come. So the expectation that, hey, the Iyer Cut's going to release and Snyder's universe is going to be restored, there is zero expectation for that. Now, if you want to see a really cool individual film, a movie that will show the contrast to what we got back in 2016 to what we ended up having now, you know, that would be a really fun thing to do. But I think it's time for DC fans to kind of move on and get ready for the new DC, which is the DC Universe, the Flash movie is coming out. Hopefully, you know, and it's a big hopefully Warner Brothers can get everything in order, make a lot of sense of this, not do it in a cheap, cheesy way, open up the DC universe, allowing for different universes to be penetrated and for characters to jump across from one multiverse to the next, which, yes, is a big Marvel word right now, multiverse, but you know, DC actually did it first in the comics, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. The Flash movie has a lot of weight and pressure on it for the continuation of a successful DC universe. I continue to sit here and say that DC makes very good individual films. They're all 
a lot of fun to watch on their own as, hey, look at the superhero movie. DC's big flaw has been and will continue to be the United Cinematic Universe. The DC EU was an absolute failure and we're moving on from it. DC's done. They're turning the page. They're moving into this Flash saga where new characters from the past are coming, new characters from the future are coming. They're all going to combine together and we're going to get some really, really awesome opportunities for fantastic DC content moving forward. Obviously, with the new Suicide Squad that's come out, that's going to be the characters they're going to try to build off of. Will Smith's character from the Suicide Squad isn't coming back, and if he does, it's going to be way down the line as a really cool memory of what once was for Deadshot. But as they continue to build off of those characters from the Suicide Squad, well, the ones that existed and survived anyway, they're going to be able to do cool series like Peacemaker. And Peacemaker has been an absolute success. It's been a lot of fun. It has a different feel. James Gunn just absolutely destroyed with that awesome opportunity he had to create a awesome, evil, mean, dumb, douchebag superhero with DC, with Peacemaker, with John Cena. So that's a lot of fun as well. What are the exact plans for DC moving forward? I don't even know if they know at this point, but they're opening up the universe. We're getting Aquaman 2, we're getting Shazam 2. Black Adam is gonna be an awesome individual movie that hopefully connects to Shazam and a new Superman. Whatever their plans are, there is a lot of opportunity for good individual movies and now a chance for a very awesome cinematic universe. I do feel that even with the release of the Flash movie, there's going to be some confusion as to what belongs where. And the Flash movie, I've mentioned now and apologize for repeating, says, hey, we're going to open this multiverse, all the dimensions. Jim Lee explained during DC Fandom in 2019, you know, the multiverse exists so that any character can exist in any facet. They can be a, a girl with, with blue hair in one universe and a man with normal blonde hair in another. And that's the point of the multiverse. So that explanation shows us that they're trying to introduce characters in different ways, in different forms, in different universes, and still have the opportunity for them to connect. The Joker, the Joker movie, that does not connect to the new The Batman movie coming out. That's a different universe. But because of the opening of the DC universe, those characters could combine, connect, have a movie together somewhere down the road. Now that's just a for instance, DC has a lot of work to do. I love DC, I love a lot of the DC characters. I do not think their cinematic universe has been managed very well. They don't have a Kevin Feige type person connecting all of the dots. And it's definitely starting to show as they're preparing for better and bigger movies to have big awesome cinematic reflections. Now, we'll have to wait and see when The Flash comes out before I put the final nail in the coffin for any possible future for the DC universe. But yeah, this was my little DC Universe rant. The Iron Cut does exist. Will Smith was talking about it and yeah, release it. There's a lot you guys missed out, but I do think it's irrelevant at this point. Time to move on, fans. Time to get excited about the future of the DC Universe with this upcoming Flash film. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you care to see the Iron Cut? Do you maybe appreciate that it's irrelevant and want to watch it anyway and see what could have been? Thank you guys so much for watching until the very end of the video. Consider subscribing if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next one right here on Cosmic Culture.